Hello and welcome back to Steam Siege Unboxing. I'm Buddy Club Pokemon and here we are for the second part of our booster box opening. And in front of us we got ourselves some nice, crisp, brand new Steam Siege booster packs. So here we go, we'll dive straight in. Fingers crossed with the last videos we'll get something pretty sweet. So here we go, code and pack, here we go folks, got ourselves the Steelix Spirit Link, a Clang, Special Charge, Ambipalm, not Ambipalm, Apalm, Larvesta, Drifloon, Ponard, C Dot, and a reverse hollow shellos, and our super awesome cool rare is a hollow dual type shrifty. So we've got that's our third one of them so far. Got two from our elite trainer box. So we go set this guy to the side. So pack it. Numero dos. So here we go. Got ourselves a Lampent. Dual type of Zoomeril. Special Charge. A Chimchar. A Rufflet. Shellos. Launcher, Meowth, and a Reverse Hollow Drift Blim, and we've got ourselves a Non-Hollow Semirot. Okie dokies, pack. Uno dos tres. Tres, tres, tres. I never really did well at Spanish at high school. So, pack, code. Cards. Here we go. Shieldion, Persian, Rabidash, Marrow, Oshawa, Krogunk, Tangela, Dieno, a reverse hollow Chimchar, and a non hollow Pyroar. Pretty cool. Very Lion Kingy. Is that like Pride Rock? The camera can pick it up. Right. Here we go. Pack numero cuatro. Only know that is because the razor. Here we go. Do what? Gardevoir Spirit Link. Clef Key. Nose Pass. Chimchar. Nidoran. Clodcher. Fletchling. And a Reverse Hollow Nose Pass. And we've got ourselves. Holy moly! Is that full art? I think that's a full art. Magirnia. And that is our Gen 7. Who? Oh. Wow. As one of my friends would say, that is well Gucci. It's well Gucci. Wow. I think that is it's quite unusual unleashing un releasing a Gen 7 card by just by itself. I know it's probably a tie in with the the movie and stuff. It just seems a little bit early. Mind you, I am really looking forward to the game Sun and Moon. The trailer just released with the 
ridiculously sized Zegator. Here we go. We've got ourselves a Halucha. Do what? A Steelix. Mind you, I hope they release some other cool, you know, variations of Pokemon. Like they've got the Sandshrew family and the Vulpix. So f I would really, really, really like some kind of. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I can't think of a Pokemon off the top of my head. I don't know. I'm very unimaginative sometimes. Ponyta. A reverse Hollow Rabidash. And a super awesome, cool rare is a dual type Garvantula. Like, would there be any other Pokemon that would have, like, some kind of, you know, Aloha form? I'm imagining it would be possibly like grass related types. But then you've got yourself the Vulpix and Sandshrew. It'd be nice, you know, like a Vileplume. Because you get that in the. all over the place, I guess. Right, we've got ourselves a Ninja Boy. A Swahili. Who's calling that? Greedy Dice. Lit Leo. A Marl. Like, oh, here's one. A Aloha form of Arbok. Because obviously there's the whole running gag or trait or whatever of its pattern on its chest. Or its hood. Got ourselves a reverse holy Yanma. And there we go. Money shot. We got ourselves the Steelix EX card. Oh, boy. There we go. So that has got ourselves the Steelix EX and the Mega Steelix. I was talking previously about wanting to run a Steel Deck. So we've got ourselves that bad boy now. Stick you to the side. So yeah. Like, as I was saying, like having Arbok with a different form, you know, related to Aloha, just to go with that running thing. I don't know. Or having some you know, pollution related Pokemon having a different form due to the lack of pollution on a tropical island. I don't know, just, you know, Pokemon that would adapt to a sunny environment or the harsh climates of the mountains. So we've got ourselves a Nuzleaf. We've got plenty of fossils, plenty of fossil Pokemon, plenty of balloon Pokemon, Ponards, plenty of seeds. Plenty of gears. Do you know what really grinds my gears? This guy. Plenty of sheep. One thing we don't have plenty of is reverse hollow angry dragon guys. He's angry. And we've got ourselves... Yeah. You know, I, s I said this before. When I got two of this little guy in the same packet. Granted, obviously, this is a reverse holo, and this is just nothing but a little bit underhanded. I don't, you know, it's probably just random, but still, come on. So here we go, pack number seven, eight? I don't know. I like saying I don't know. You know, it's nice being uncertain in life. This guy. I hate this guy. Okie dokies. Tangrowth. Captivating Pokepuff. Drift Blimp. Kling. Joltig. Ponard. Fungus. Rufflet. Meowth. And Bastiodon. Okie dokies folks, here we go, pack number, I don't know, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah blah blah, left, we've got plenty left, so here we go, oh that's that Chinese catching up on us, code, pack, some super cool rares, hopefully. 
Because I really, really want to be greedy like the dice. Clef Key. Gardevoir Spirit Link. Mantine. Mankey. Yanma. Apom. Larvista. A Reverse Hollow Nidorino. And a Non Hollow Dual Type Volcarona. So, as I was saying, you know, I'm really looking forward to this Gen 7 Sun and Moon. You know, so far they've yet to announce any new Mega Types, which I'm a bit disappointed in, because the concept looks pretty good. And there was that whole hullabaloo, you know, with the, the last generation. It doesn't seem like something that they just throw away, you know, in exchange for this. Like, you know, Haloha. Um kind of evolutions or types or forms and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I would like some new Mega Evolutions. Like a Mega Primeape. Mega Farfetched. Mega Dodrio. Some of the Gen 1s, some of the Gen 2s. Like a Mega Honchkrow. You know, very Mafia Gangster type. You know, give them like a Tommy Gun. Got ourselves a Reverse Hall Cluncher. And a non hollow Yan Menga. Here we go, another pack. Here we go, I'm still yearning for the Break Xerneas. I only had one Break card, I think that was the Mr. Bacon Bird Yveltal. Hopefully we can get him. Reverse Hollow Dieno. And, wow, finally, getting one of these bad boys, a Hollow Amphros. Because we've had quite a few of the Mareeps. Too much, if you ask me. There we go, put him over there. Next pack. Just burst this thing open. So here we go. Got ourselves the Azumarill, Lampent, Ambipom, Fletchling, Oshawott, Sneasel, C dot oh I C dot our good card. I C dot you Drifloon And we got ourselves a Talon Flame Break. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty cool. Talent Flame Break. Not the Xerneas. But still, ever so good. And behind that, we've got ourselves the Avalog of Lug. So we'll sleeve this guy up. Stick him to the side. So we've got ourselves some. Still quite a few packs left. One. Two, three, four, five, six packets left. That's plenty of, you know, cards for a Xerneas break. I just really want one of them. Probably not gonna get it. But, here we go. Got ourselves the Monferno. Ninja Boy. Clang. Ponyta. Dieno. Litwick, Nosepaz, Chimchar, Reverse Hole Lampent, and we've got ourselves another Musketeer Colbion. So, oh! My poster just fell in. Oh well. That was unexpected. That's been up there for what? I don't know why I've had that cans up there for. God knows how long. It says 2013 on it, so there you go, three years. Right, here we go. Shieldion. Bravery. That was just quite unexpected there. Nuzleaf. Hoppip. 
Sneasel, Mantine, Mankey, Yanma, a reverse hollow Mankey, and a non hollow Amoongus. So here we go, down, down to the final four. Code pack cards. Here we go. Got ourselves an Anroth Persian Fossil Tangela Dieno Chimchar Rufflet Shellos A reverse hollow sneasel and there we have a dual type super cool shiny hollow the sharp. I quite like that they added in these shiny Pokemon. Best Sharp always looks pretty. I don't know what's with the design, but I really like it. it reminds me of something kind of like Mega Man, especially the blue, the shiny one. I think that's where I'm getting it from. So here we go. Got ourselves a Pokemon Ranger, Tangrowth, Pokepuff, Marl, Yanma, Fletchling, Mareep, Drifloon, and a Reverse Hollow Hoppip, and not the Break Xerneas, but a Hollow Xerneas. But we need the Break, him for the Break. So we'll set him to the side. Second to last pack. Do you know, we haven't got a Volcion yet. Just noticed that. Can we? At least he is the main star of this pack, and we haven't got a single one of them. It's a bit lackluster. So, fingers crossed. Here we go. Pokemon Ranger. Nidorino. Monferno, Kling, Mareep, Bergmite, Fungus, Joltig, a Reverse Hollow Flaffy, and we've got ourselves a Talonflame, which will go very nice with our break. So here we have it folks, crunch time, last pack. I really want the break Xerneas. I want him to be inside this packet. But fate will have it. It will not be in here. It's the last pack. Here we go. Code pack cards. Here we go, folks. We got ourselves the Ambipom, Flaffy, Fletchinder, Hoppip, Nosepaz. Nidoran, with Leo, Sneasel, a Reverse Hollow Special Charge, and we got ourselves a second Mega Gardevoir EX. Very, very, very nice for our last card in the last packet. Sadly, we never got ourselves the Break Xerneas that I was yearning for. We never even got the Special Cool Mascot guy. Volkion, but we got ourselves a whole slew of cool cards. We got ourselves Hollow Xerneas, a Hollow Bisharp, a Break Talonflame, a Amphros, the Steelix EX, the Mag. Oh, I can never get that name right. What does that even say? Magirna EX. The Hollow Shrifty and a second Mega Gardevoir EX. So, all in all, this Steam Siege booster box, trainer box opening bonanza has come to a close. We've got some really nice cards. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. Can't say anything bad about it. Except the fact I never got my brakes are nice. So I'm just going to probably browse the listings on eBay. 
wallowing my self-pity. But stay tuned next time because we might have some more tins, collections, booster boxes, a whole load of stuff waiting to be opened, waiting to be unpacked, and waiting to be seen. So thank you very much for joining Buddy Club Pokemon on our Steam Siege Bonanza, and we'll see you next time.